Besides the two different congressional bodies and the different parties, there's one other level of organization found in Congress, and that's the committee system. A committee system is just what it sounds like. It's a system that gets things done by dividing itself up into lots of different committees, each committee having its own agenda. Most of the real work that goes on up at Capitol Hill occurs in committees, including massive research, long debates, and deep discussion of special interests, all activities that are vital to the creation and passage of laws. Now, 75% of bills things that want to be laws, originate in committee. There are several different types of committees. Standing committees, ad hoc, select, and special committees, joint committees, and conference committees. Standing committees are the major committees that bills are usually referred to, like the Agriculture or Commerce Committee. They're called standing committees because they're permanent committees that have a specific area of responsibility. Ad hoc, select, and special committees are temporary committees that are created for specific purposes to draft and enforce mandates. Mandates are laws made to direct states or local governments to comply with federal rules or regulations. For example, the Clean Water Act is a mandate. All states are forced to meet water standards set forth by the federal government. Once these mandates are fulfilled, the ad hoc, select, or special committee would disassemble because there's no longer a need for them. Joint committees are formed from the members of both houses of Congress for the purpose of considering an important issue that must be addressed by them both, such as the Joint Economic Committee or the Joint Intelligence Committee. Finally, conference committees also contain members of both houses. These committees are created in order to smooth out differences between House and Senate versions of a bill. This is pretty important because if little differences in bill content aren't smoothed out, then important laws may never get passed. So those are your committees. You'll find different forms of these committees in both houses. But there's one committee in particular in the House of Representatives that we'd like to point out, and that's the House Rules Committee. The House Rules Committee determines the rules of debate for particular bills. This committee can set debate time limits or determine what specific amendments to a bill can be offered on the House floor. This committee clearly has influence over whether a bill will get passed. This committee also illustrates the point we made before. The House of Representatives is a stickler for rules. You may be wondering exactly how a senator or house rep gets to be on a committee. Do they have to win a contest or undergo some sort of physical challenge? Well, just like getting into Congress itself, there are rules to getting onto a congressional committee. In order to serve on a committee, you should have some background in a committee's agenda. If you want to be on the banking committee, it helps to have a background in banking. Also, if you want to be a member of a major committee, it helps to be a senior member of Congress. When you're on a committee, you show your constituents what kinds of issues you can affect, and that helps determine who's going to vote for you.